In this video, I'm going to discuss the topic of zoning your residential assisted living, what to expect with zoning, how long it's gonna potentially take, what's going to be required. So if you're interested, make sure to stick around. What's going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that you have all shown on this channel. It is greatly appreciated. And if you have not yet, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, Check out the links down below to Legion Assisted Living Academy and Legion Assisted Living Advisors. Feel free to go check out the God Made Podcast as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually jump into the topic of this video. The Black Friday sale is finally here. 50% off of the program along with one month free of mentorship when you do sign up for the program using Black Friday, the code at checkout. You will also get one month free of the mentorship program. Go ahead, sign up. Let's get started. 50% off. I don't know. Can't beat that. I'll see you all on the other side. Now, zoning is a very, very crucial part of actually starting your residential assisted living home. It is one of the foundational things that you need to do when starting your residential assisted living. So going through the zoning process is a bit tedious and it can take quite a bit of energy and effort on your end to get going and to get done due to the fact that in most cases these are government employees that you're dealing with and government employees do like to take their time it's nothing it's not a low ball or a low shot at government employees but they do just take their time with certain items especially when it comes to zoning and there are a lot of hoops that you got to go through to eventually get zoned due to the fact that there are certain things that vary so much across the board from city to city and not only city to city like you got phoenix and then you have places like scottsdale uh, chandler gilbert smaller portions like sub cities of the main city and they all vary okay and that is why it's very important to go to the city that you're in and see what zoning you're actually part of and making sure that you discuss with that zoning ordinance that you're in so for instance if you live here in phoenix and but you actually live in gilbert or mesa or chandler you would go to the mesa zoning ordinance or you would go to gilbert's zoning ordinance so you want to make sure that you go to the zoning ordinance and you discuss with them exactly what it is you're trying to do. You need to make sure that they understand and that they have someone that they can direct you to within the zoning department to make sure that you fill out the right pro right paperwork and the right application to get everything going. There's multiple people that need to sign off on it and there are stages of zoning which can take quite a bit of time. My zoning, when I zoned my residential assisted living home, even though I'm renting the property, I still had to rezone it under my entity name. And because when I went to go put in my license application for my residential assisted living, it needed to be under my entity name. That way everything could be under my entity name and it wasn't all over the place. So when I did it, I essentially put in the application and it took a solid two, two and a half, three months by the time I finally got zoned. And there are times where I didn't fill out the application properly or there are things that weren't done properly. Uh, things got extended, uh, things got rescheduled, such as the fire department that came out to do the fire inspection and to give me my fire safety permit. Things of that nature that needed to be done. And every stage does take a little bit of work and it does take a little bit of time. And the thing is with zoning, you need to make sure prior to you signing any kind of lease if you do decide to go down the path of renting a property to do residential assisted living or you're going to go down the path of purchasing make sure that you call the zoning ordinance in that specific zip code and what city they ordinance they fall under that property that specific property in that you call them and make sure that you can actually get zoned make sure that you can actually get zoned as a residential assisted living because if you can't, then it's not even worth entertaining the idea of leasing or even purchasing that specific property. You don't want to get a property and then find out later after you purchase it or after you sign the lease that you actually can't zone because all the zoning has been taken by other residential assisted living homes within your area depending on 
what regulation there is with how many residential assisted living homes can be in a certain radius, right? In the state of Arizona, there you can't zone another residential assisted living within a quarter mile. That is a regulation here, a law here in the state of Arizona. Uh, it, and it can vary from state to state, from city to city. And so that's why it's very crucial that you go through each zoning. And then on top of that with zoning, they will only allow a certain amount of beds to actually be zoned on that specific property. So they may only allow you to do a five bed. That may be the that may be the limit on how many beds you can get licensed for for it to be considered residential. Anything above that could end up being commercial. And then there's completely different regulations and rules when it comes to zoning a property under commercial than there is residential. So it's very, very crucial that you do that. And then there may be other cities that allow you to do 10 beds, eight beds, seven beds, six beds. So, you know, up to those amount of beds and under residential, because a lot of people have made the mistake of not checking with zoning and then they end up getting tied up with a certain property uh, and they end up renovating it even and really hurting themselves in the long run and losing a lot of money by doing that. And so, and then they don't ever end up ever. They don't ever end up getting the property set up the way they wanted to get it set up. So it is very crucial that you do that because if you do decide to renovate anything in the home, you have to get permits. You will have to do certain things with zoning that they will require you to do in order to get zoned. And then once you're zoned, then you move on to the next critical step of getting licensed through the state that you're in through the department health services that is in your state and they all have different names and they're all a little different but for the most part they do have a, a similar regulations and so it is very crucial that you guys get the zoning thing down right away do not try to skip the step do not try to put this off this is a very crucial thing when it comes to starting your residential assisted living home and it's it is crucial, but it's also not as hard as a lot of people make it out to be. It is, it does take a bit of effort and it does take a bit of energy to actually get going. But once you're zoned, you're zoned and then you're locked in. Um, my property that I ended up zoning, the fortunate thing for me was that it was previously being used as an assisted living. So it was already zoned. The zoning was already locked in. I just had to rezone it under my entity. So they're already familiar with the property. They've already zoned the property. It was just a matter of me going through the proper steps of rezoning it, which is essentially the same thing, but it was already locked in. If a property is already locked in with zoning, that right there is very, very valuable. If you find a property that is already zoned for residential assisted living, go ahead, try to get that property because in most cases, you won't find anything around that certain area that is open for zoning so make sure that that is also something you keep in the back of your mind and guys if you have not make sure to click in the link down below for legion assist living academy 50 percent off for the black friday sale feel free to go check it out you'll also get one month free of mentorship with myself and someone else that i think you guys will really enjoy learning from so make sure to go check it out it's limited time only until the 27th make sure you guys go ahead and enroll Get signed up. I'll get you guys all enrolled for the mentorship when you do use the code Black Friday at checkout. And so with that being said, thank you so much for all the love and support that you have all shown me. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I will talk to you all in the next video. God bless.